Hello, everybody. This is Stuart Jean coming back at you here from Musicians Institute in Hollywood, California for Drum Magazine. Uh, for this next series here, we're going to look at uh, exposing weaknesses in our balance on the kit and uh, maybe getting our left hand uh, up to speed with the right hand. So we're going to discuss all these types of things here. Um, it's good to be symmetrical as a drummer, you know, the drum set is not symmetrical for most of us. You know, it's sort of a goes high to low and I rides over here, hi hats over here. Uh, there are drummers that uh, like Simon Phillips, Gary husband that are more symmetrical ambidextrous, you know? Um, but, uh, you know, I'm gearing this towards more of an old school, traditional kind of style player where the right hand's doing a lot of heavy lifting and the left hand does a lot of filling in. Uh, we want to get this left hand more involved and uh, we just want to run some exercises, you know, that might expose something if we're leaning funny or if we're using both feet and both arms, is there something weird going on? So uh, just follow along with this. Uh, these are five little exercises, uh, not rocket science at all. But uh, again, when you're practicing this stuff, start out slow and um, and work it up, you know, uh, slowly and gradually up to up to speed to faster tempos but be honest with yourself you know film yourself and uh you know it doesn't have to be perfect you're trying to iron things out you know so practice should be awkward at times so uh here we go just follow the notation and we're going to run this thing run this thing down one note uh, i'm going to run these with eighth notes on the hi-hat with my foot uh you can play quarter notes you could do nothing at first uh, you know, just leave it there and focus on the bass drum and the cymbals and the snare, uh, and then add, uh, start spoon feeding in the hi-hat. I'm just going to jump up to where I'm playing eighth notes. Uh, cause that, for me, that shows the, you know, if I'm, if I'm out of balance, out of kilter. Okay, cool. And if you want to maybe change uh, the trajectory of your body, uh, you know, you could switch to instead of these two symbols in snare, it's kind of fun to switch over here and play on the floor tom just to see what's happening with the left foot on the hi-hat when your body's kind of twisted over here. So I'm going to run that now. And of course we can pick up the tempo and see what happens there.